Hey, what's up everyone? It's Eli here today. Make sure to leave a like and turn on post notifications as always. Um, today I thought I would be talking about uh, Jesus and my honest uh, perspective of him. <clears throat> I see um, there's a lot of uh, comparisons that you could bring into different mythologies, such as the story with Horus, um, or, you know, we could even kind of compare it to Buddha in a way. So there's many stories that it interlocks with. And a lot of people might believe um, Jesus as a literal being or as a, um, you could say, an egregoric fantasy being. And the way that I see it is we can't, we can't go back in time and prove that this did or did not happen. And the only thing that we can do is break it down into a spiritual occult science so that we can understand it without assumptions or biases okay so the way that i see jesus is i see him as a ascended master and a teacher who was on the path of self-mastery climbing up the tree of initiation and he went and touched source or the all or the god and then this chaotic multiverse universe system you could say the chaotic matrix sacrificed him in order to continue it. Now, the same people, the church that sacrificed Jesus are the same people that have mistranslated the Bible, <clears throat> that have removed information from the Bible, that have changed things, and that have um, pushed people into a form of religious extremism. And I guarantee you that if you go back in time and compare what Jesus was teaching in comparison to um, what's happening now with the religion and the church, um, it would not line up. Okay, it wouldn't line up. Um, Jesus was um, literally you know, throwing over their their tables with all of their money, right? All of their businesses. Um, and he was, he was saying things like, I am the son of God and God is within me, but God is also within you and you can do things such as I do. You know, he was literally... Um, turning water into wine and trying to teach people how to do it. He was literally emphasizing and teaching people how to perform miracles, right? Which are, guess what? They're sorcery, right? They're a form of uh, magical energetic manifestation within this energetic reality. And the words that we use, miracle or spell or sorcery or witchcraft or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's all the same thing, right? Now, there's good and bad polarities, light and dark polarities from the human moralistic perspective. Yes, um, that does um, have a, a role in this, you know, of words, you could say like witchcraft holds certain um, archetypes, but looking beyond that, um, we can understand that uh, he was literally teaching us that source or God exists within us. And he was telling everyone how to perform miracles. He was he was telling everyone that they can do what he can do. And um, he was, in a sense, the way I see him is I see him as an ancient Gnostic. Okay. I think people have taken what he was saying too literally. Like, um, you'll see a lot of Christians, they'll say, I believe in Jesus. I, I have faith in Jesus, but you don't see them performing any miracles, do you? If they if they truly believed in what he was saying, they would be able to perform miracles based off of the teachings of Jesus, because if they did believe, they would be able to do that. He was literally teaching people that they could perform miracles. And you don't see any you don't see any Christians performing miracles. I haven't seen it. Uh, the only thing I see it is a monopolized religion that's turned into extremism that is completely disconnected from the truth.
Meaning that the same people that sacrificed Jesus are the same ones feeding everyone a religion about him. And isn't that ironic? So I see Jesus as this ascended master figure or archetype that touched the source and then and then he was then sacrificed to the chaos um, or to the elites, the Jews. And the archetype of Jesus um, is, you could say, the shepherd or the good shepherd. And he's all about leading people into this light. But by people following, guess what, the pathway of Jesus, biblically speaking, they are, in the way that the church has set it up, they're, they're not really following what he was teaching. They're following this path into sacrifice. They're following a pathway into sacrifice. Okay. This happens to rappers as well. Okay. This happens to rappers. Like, okay, let's look at XXX Tentacion for a minute. He was somebody who came up in the music industry. And um, we all know how that goes. Okay. Once you sign that contract and um, you get famous, you know, you get everything you want. You could say making a deal with the elites because the elites run the industry. <clears throat> he decided that this isn't right for him. And guess what? He started trying to lead people into the light. And if you notice at the end of his career, I noticed he was, he was, you know, going to uh, churches, orphanages, um, giving out donations, just handing out money to people in need. And he was speaking positive, uplifting messages, trying to help people connect to God or source. And then he was sacrificed. So it's, obvious that his teachings then and his teachings now do not line up that texts were changed removed mistranslated written by the same people that sacrificed him and now we see similar archetypes or sacrifices being made so i don't see jesus personally as a christian figure. I don't see him as you know the way that he is put out in religion. So that is that is my honest perspective of Jesus, you know. I feel that personally, if a Christian truly believes, uh, they would be able to perform miracles and you will not see any of them doing that. Um, and I, I believe that his, his teachings were in a sense stolen from him and then, um, turned into a marketing scheme. That's the way I see it. Um, based off of history and research and comparison to then and now. Um, I think I can, you know, solidly say that that is the way that I view this system. But anyways, uh, peace out. Make sure to leave a like and turn on post notifications as always. Enjoy.